but you can't control what they say and do. So it's a lot of hard work and, and it's a lot of worrying constantly. So you gotta love it, you gotta have passion. Good morning. Welcome back to another episode of the vlog. If you're new here, please make sure you do subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. On today's vlog, we are giving you guys my top five tips you need to make it in the NRL. Now, I get asked this question a lot. Any tips to make it in footy or what should I do as a youngster to help me improve my footy to give me a chance to play NRL? So I thought I'd make this video. That way, if anyone asks me, I can just direct you guys straight to the video. It is bright and early this morning we're down the townsville sporting precinct beautiful area with a nice footy field just about to get some running in as our return to pre-season is just around the corner so here's the field it's a pretty well-known field in townsville this one most of the away teams do their captain's run on this field because you can probably see that if you come down this way a bit castle hill is right there and that's where down the other end of the field you kind of get the, the money shot so this morning we're doing just some more lighter stuff this morning today is kind of more like my lighter day i've had a bit of a stiff back lately which has been fairly annoying and i've kind of got different days that i work on different stuff so let's get stuck into this session and then we'll talk about my first of five points you guys need to follow to make it in the nrl <laughs> Okay, so the first one is that you have to love what you do. Now, there's this unbelievably amazing quote that says, if you don't love what you do, then you won't persevere through the tough time. So this is something that really resonated with me. I saw this video actually, so I'll show you guys. You, you have to have a lot of passion for what you're doing. And it's totally true. And the reason is because it's so hard that if you don't, any rational person would give up. It's really hard and you have to do it over a sustained period of time. So if you don't love it, if you're not having fun doing it, you don't really love it, you're gonna give up. And that's what happens to most people actually. If you really look at, at, at the ones that uh, ended up you know, being successful, unquote, in the eyes of society and the ones that didn't, oftentimes it, it's the ones that were successful loved what they did so they could persevere when, you know, when it got really tough. And, and the ones that, that didn't love it quit they're sane, right? Who would want to put up with this stuff if you don't love it? So it's a lot of hard work and, and it's a lot of worrying constantly. If you don't love it, you're going to fail. So you got to love it. So you have to love what you do because in football and, and in life in general, if you don't love what you do, you won't continue to do it. So in football, there's a lot of, there's a lot of challenges that you have to go through. Obviously, injury, suspension, form, change of clubs, the list like goes on. It is, it's not all smooth sailing in professional sports. There are tough times and many Many athletes will tell you that it's not all rosy. Everyone just sees everyone, you know, playing and winning and earning amazing money, which there's a lot of great things about playing sport, don't get me wrong, but there are some really tough things that come along with it. So loving what you do is one of the most important things. You have to love it. So then when these tough times hit, the love that you have for the game or your sport or training will get you through it and you'll be able to come through the other side and be better for it. Okay, so the next tip is, and it might sound a little bit cliche, but it's to have no regrets. Now, I don't wanna to get too deep, but you honestly get one chance. You get one shot, you get one life. So I'm talking to like the young kid, the 14, 15, 16 year old kid who has dreams and aspirations of playing in the NRL. And you've literally got one shot over the next couple of years. So it might happen you know, when you're 18, 19, 20, it might not happen to you 25. But throughout those years, you're gonna get faced with challenges outside of football. It's important to hang around with people who are aligned with what your goals are. and. Just because your mates who aren't trying to play NRL 
are doing different things doesn't mean you need to do that. You're gonna get tasked with a lot of decisions you're gonna to have to make, a lot of sacrifices, and that's what I mean by having no regrets because if you give it your absolute all, like you train hard, you sacrifice, you eat well, you sleep well, you don't hang around with the wrong people who are doing the wrong things, that's gonna give you the best chance of playing NRL and playing professional sport. So if you sacrifice and you do all those things and you give it your all, but you don't make it, if you don't make it, like that's okay, you can live with that. You can live with the fact that you gave it your all, you tried your absolute best out, you just weren't good enough. Like that's okay, that happens to all of us in a lot of different things. But on the other hand, if you didn't sacrifice, if you didn't train as hard as you could, if you only gave it half a shot and you didn't do everything that you wish you could have and you get to an age of like, I'm not sure, 24 or, or whatever it is and, and you don't make the NRL because of those decisions like that to me would be hard to live with so I'm speaking to kind of the younger kids here when you're like 14 16 17 18 like you're gonna get tasked with a lot of decisions and it's gonna be up to you to make those decisions and we don't get all the decisions right like even now me everyone no one gets every decision right but it's important that you learn from them so this one's a big one giving yourself every chance you can by having no regrets commit yourself dedicate yourself because honestly you like you get one shot to do it okay the next one is you need to be mentally strong and this is something that is a lot easier said than done now mental strength by that i mean there's a lot of reasons as to why i think you need to be mentally strong but first and foremost it's the training so an nrl preseason, which we are just basically just about to go back and start is unbelievably tough you get pushed to the absolute limit and then you go even more like you go to places mentally in your head where you just didn't know that you had there's a lot of demons and you're the only one that's going to help yourself get through it so mental toughness pushing yourself to the absolute limit is a massive massive trait that you need that mental strength and on the other hand the mental toughness as well to show some resilience through tough times just throughout your career so everyone faces tough times like it's just a part of life there's people that don't even know you that will hate you <laughs> And that's, that's a part of professional sport. That's why we all love sport is because everyone has their opinion. But having that mental toughness, especially with social media, and obviously I am someone who enjoys the use of social media. I try and use it the right way, in a positive way. Obviously there's people out there who don't. So having the mental strength to kind of, you know, not let that affect you, like because there are some players who it does affect them. So if you can get through that mental toughness barrier, where whether it's training, helping you get through a training session, or it's dealing with adversity or whatever it may be, having that little voice inside your own head is gonna be a massive help to you. And it's like, I always think about it, it's like now, I just finished a gym session and it's the off season and no one would actually know if I went to the gym or not, but I would know. And it's that promise to yourself to get to the gym, to go for a run, that little, that little voice in my head that just sort of talks to me when no one else is around. Like, I think everyone knows what I'm talking about. So that's point number three. Good morning. Today is Saturday and it's under a week until we're due back to training, but our young boys are back. Actually have a quick look, you can see that because our field at the facility is under renovation, still getting fixed up. Yep, that's them. Keeping a close eye on what's happening at training. Okay, so the next tip is to play the long game. Now, success does not happen overnight. So your aim should be not only just to make it in the NRL, but you should be aiming to have a 10 year career. You should be aiming to you know, be a great player. Whether you wanna play for Australia, play Origin, set up your family, earn enough money to have a great life. There are so many positives that come out of being a professional athlete. Playing the long game is definitely one aspect that'll help you throughout your pursuit of playing in the NRL. We do live in a day and age where everyone wants everything right now. So staying patient as well, making sure that you keep your vision, your goals aligned for the long term and just stacking those things up, stacking them up year after year, day after day, week after week, because that's ultimately what's gonna help you achieve those goals. So playing the long game, success does not happen overnight and it's a process and you just wanna stick to your process, follow your good processes and good things will happen to you. 
Okay, so the last tip for today's video is to focus on the things that you can control. Now, there are a lot of things in professional sports that you can't control, and there are a lot that you can control. So for me, so you can control the way you train, you can control the way you play, you can control how prepared you are, you can control how dialed in you are at training, how dedicated you are, the sacrifices you make, what you do outside of sport, what you do away from training with your spare time, if you're stretching, if you're eating right, if you're sleeping right, like these are all the things that you can control. You cannot control what people say about you. You cannot control what journos say about you. You cannot control what's on the news, what's in the papers, what's on the sports shows during the week. That stuff is all irrelevant and should be irrelevant if you want to be a professional athlete because there are people out there who are paid to have an opinion on sports. And a lot of the times, you know, you can't take it personal. Sometimes you can take it personal, but you can't control what they say and do so there's no point in worrying about those things because it's just dead space in your head it doesn't need to be worried about it's such a big point and something that has helped me over the course of my whole career i got taught this when i was very very young it is stuck with me and something that i really just tried to zone in on and focus i can control what i can do but i can't control what other people do so that's a big tip for you and if you're a young kid as well you know what i mean you can't control what other people do you can't control you know if your friend has been selected in a rep team like you shouldn't compare your situation to theirs you can't control what they're doing you just got to be happy for them you you can control your situation. So I wouldn't compare your situation to others and I would just focus on the things that you can control because at the end of the day, a lot of the tips that I've put in today's video are all about things that you can control. So loving what you do, having no regrets, they're things that you can control. Your mental strength and playing the long game, these are things that you can control. So the five tips today, I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different. I was umming and ahhing whether to do this video and whether to put it out, but I hope you've found some value in today's video. This is obviously all my opinion and things that have helped me along the way throughout my career. So I wish you the best of luck. Hopefully, if you're a young kid and you wanna play NRL, you can sacrifice and dedicate yourself you get one shot so make the most of every opportunity that you get you'll meet some great people along the way and like i said i wish you all the best if you enjoy these videos please make sure you do subscribe and as always we'll see you guys on the next episode